everyone who writes today writes in his wake. I mean, there's that famous quote, like, every American novel um, comes out of Huckleberry Finn, right? E every American comic writer comes out of Jack Kirby's head. You can't out Kirby Kirby. I think if, if you're gonna pay tribute to that man, you can't be like, I'm gonna write as big and bombastic at him. I'm gonna have as brilliant ideas as he did. I'm gonna do the stream of American id, mixed with the Bible, mixed with pop culture, and, and create the modern world like he did. That's a fool's error because that's what Kirby did, and Kirby was unique. So the way to be the best Kirby you can be is to swerve from that. And so what we did was we sort of took that world. He made an epic world, an incredible um, space opera, and we're like, what if we took that and made it into a personal story? We took that and used that as a metaphor for one man and one woman sort of descent into a trap. And so we tried to be as Kirby as we could in doing the thing that's unexpected and not just over Kirbying the whole thing. Everyone who writes today writes in his wake. I mean, there's that famous quote, like, every American novel um, comes out of Huckleberry Finn, right? E every American comic writer comes out of Jack Kirby's head. And, but I think what, what it impacted me most is it's not just comics, it's pop culture. It's the shows you see on TV. Star Wars comes out of Kirby. Star Wars is a religion to my children. You know, they understand that a lot better than they understand Christianity. It, 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 what he created in his mind, what he tapped into, using, you know, growing up a little kid reading the Bible, but growing up in the ghetto, going to World War II, and then being a guy who, you know, he's like the Beatles playing in Hamburg, man. He, 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 he did just in a desk down for 20 years before he was let free and to be creative. And he combined all that to make something new in this world. And I think it's the newness we sort of all live in.